Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today, I'm giving you a complete tour of my detailer's dream garage. So basically an entire garage that was built and dedicated to car detailing, my life's biggest passion. My dad jokingly often says that I have a few loose screws in my head because detailing became more than a passion, it's an obsession. So from floor to ceiling and all around the garage, we're gonna go over the entire features. You're gonna see the chemicals, the tools, the equipment, and a bunch of awesome features. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, welcome to my show. I hope you guys are all having a great day. So let's dig right into it. Uh, by the way, I'll leave links to all the tools, product and equipment in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. We're gonna first start by talking about the build itself. So this is a brand new home. We built it roughly two years ago and I worked closely with my builder to have a lot of custom stuff done in the garage. So first of all, it's a fairly wide two car garage, 24 feet by 24 feet in size or 7.3 by 7. 7.3 meters for a total of 576 square feet or just under 54 square meters. We also have 13 feet high ceilings or four meters. So again, very, very big. And there's a lot of things that we custom built specifically for car detailing. So talking about that detailing, let's have a look. First of all, a lot of you guys ask me the question for my flooring. What type of flooring is this? Is it an epoxy floor? No, it's an evolution of the epoxy floor. Uh, the work has been done by a company called Beton Surface here from Montreal. Uh, they specialize in this polyurea coating. Basically, this is a resin of polyurethane and also epoxy. So 20 year warranty, impact resistant, chemical resistant, UV resistant, has an anti-slip coating on top. Basically what they do is they sand and prep your concrete beforehand to make sure they fill in any cracks as well. Then they're going to apply a uh, base sealer slash um, kind of a primer on top of your concrete. Then they put the color flakes. In my case, it's called nightfall. So a mix of gray, uh, white, and black flakes. And on top, they have that polyurea resin, uh, which gives this this amazing finish. Uh, it also prevents all the dust, right, from the concrete to go into the garage. And it's very easy to maintain. Just pressure, rinse it off every once in a while. Or you can use a gentle pH neutral car shampoo, for example, uh, and you uh, basically shampoo your floors, rinse that off, and you're good to go. We also made sure that we brought up the coating about two feet on the side of my walls to make it basically watertight. So there's uh, no issues with water going anywhere in this garage. Uh, also, we made sure on the walls we have some mold resistant kitchen bathroom drywall and on top some kitchen bathroom mold resistant paint. So again, everything was thought to wash cars and you're gonna see even more features later on as we go in the uh, garage tour. Uh, here, now for the build code here in Montreal for all new homes, uh, we need garage drains. So I have two of them in my garage, basically one for each car. And this allows, well, the water of course to evacuate, but uh, also in the winter time, because we have harsh winters here in Montreal, Canada, all that ice, sleet, rain, all that junk has a place to go to and evacuate. So this was a nifty feature. I upgraded the standard uh, uh, garage floor drains covers here that were in like this plastic thing to these diamond plate uh, stainless steel plates so they look a lot cooler. And now if we start the tour with some other features, let's look up here at my ceiling. You're gonna see some lighting, right? So these are high bay LED fixtures. They're two by one, two feet by one feet. They have a total of six fixtures and these produce 90,000 total lumens of light output. And the color temperature is 5,000 Kelvin, also equal to daylight. We all know that proper lighting in a detailing studio is very important to see things, of course, imperfection, swirls, scratches, all that kind of stuff, especially when you're doing paint correction. So a well-lit area is very important. And also you'll notice on the ceiling that I have some acoustic tiles. So this was some custom work done by the same team that did my custom home theater in my basement. They specialize in acoustic treatments for theaters all around in the Montreal area, so the cinemas. 
And so dual purpose for this, first of all, it helps with the acoustics when I'm recording videos, obviously, and you're going to see later on, it helps also have a better sound quality because I have a hi-fi, high-end stereo to listen to music when I'm detailing. So let me bring you over here now. We're going to do the tour of the garage and we're going to go around so we can see everything in sequence. First of all, uh, my Garaga garage door. So this is a fairly big door, uh, aluminum. I have a bit more daylight coming through this frosted glass, so these frosted panes. It has a high R value, of course, because we have harsh winters here, and uh, this is made to resist the uh, winter climates. Uh, up here, up top, we have the LiftMaster uh, 8500W series garage door opener. So not only is it quiet and silent, but it has built-in Wi-Fi, so you can show it with the MyQ app. It is side-mounted and wall-mounted to have uh, to save some space on the ceiling, right? So that's one thing I really wanted, and I think it keeps everything cool, uh, clean as well. And it has this feature that automatically locks the door with a deadbolt for some added security here. So you can see the uh, the deadbolt bolt in the hole so why not have that added extra security and also this LiftMaster unit has a built-in uh, battery backup in case you have a power outage you can still use your garage door. One feature that you immediately notice are these custom cabinets they're made by Russo so a cabinet maker from here in the uh, Quebec province in Canada and they're known worldwide for some top tier custom cabinet works they basically provide all the uh, luxury car makers or uh, car um, uh, manufacturers manufacturers here in Montreal with all these cabinets. So Ferrari, uh, Lamborghini, Aston Martin, BMW, you name it. Uh, they love to supply those garages with their own cabinets. They're uh, solid construction, metal. I had mine custom made in this uh, blue and gray theme that I really, really like. And you're going to see them in my workbench as well. So they're like uh, Lista cabinets, Sonic cabinets. We're talking top tier stuff here, guys. I was introduced to the company, by the way, by my friend Matt Mormon from Obsessed Garage. Uh, we were at the SEMA show in Las Vegas in 2018 and he told me Pan these guys are from your home country and they make like top grade stuff and I'm happy I have them so more on those in just a few minutes uh, here a new addition to the uh, garage for detailing this is my mighty light 8070 carpet extractor also known as a spotter so basically to extract liquids from carpets fabrics uh, and all that kind of stuff so it is a very very high quality unit uh, it has a four gallon container. It's a heated extractor as well. So it has a built-in heater, very powerful and uh, yeah, very powerful unit and perfect for that cleaning job. Next here on the wall, we have my Fioc wall air mounted, uh, wall mounted air compressor. Uh, this is for some lighty duty stuff like filling in tires. So it comes with this built-in hose reel. Uh, you have a quick connect option to connect your air tools to it. So I like to use this for, let's say, light duties, uh, blowing air vents, blowing stuff from under the seats in the vehicle. Uh, I can switch to this here. This is my PCL Acura One, basically a tire inflator to get some accurate readings because believe it or not, a lot of people don't inflate their tires properly, which are important for tire wear, but also for the performance of your vehicle. So the extra touch that I do for my customers, among the extra touches, one of them is making sure they have the proper air temperature or that their tires are properly inflated. So this one here is wall mounted. It comes on this swivel and uh, it is just compact and works super well. Uh, I have a few electrical outlets that you'll see in the garage. Some are 15 amps and I also had some 20 amp circuits installed for some higher powered units like some very powerful air compressors or sometimes like this unit, this unit here draws almost 15 amps on its own. The pressure washer that you'll see as well to make sure everything functions properly. Here I have my Frigidaire dehumidifier. So although I have a heat pump that you'll see in the garage that does a lot of that work too, this one here is a 70 pint unit. So perfect for quickly dehumidifying Modifying the garage space. You can see my custom polisher racks. So these again were made by Rousseau, the same makers as my cabinet, so hence the same color coordination. So I have a few polishers here. So my Flex uh, XCE. So this one here is a direct drive polisher. Very, very good. Uh, next, these are cordless polishers. This is my Flex XFE. So this one here is a dual action polisher. 
This one here is direct drive or uh, forced rotation if you want. This one here is standard dual, um, dual action random orbital. We have the Flex 3401 corded polisher, a staple in the industry. We have the uh, LC power tools made by Lake Country, the Udos polisher, user defined orbital. So you can go from different uh, modes when you're using it. By the way, I have reviews for pretty much everything that you'll see in the garage dedicated video. So if you want to dive more into each one of the features, you can watch those on my channel. Uh, here's my Rupes LHR15 Mark II dual action polisher and the Rupes Mini Bigfoot polisher as well, smaller head. I also have the Nano Hybrid hidden in one of the compartments that you'll see later on. Uh, and here are basically in my cabinets, I store a bunch of stuff like this here is made for my uh, polishing pads. So wool pads, microfiber pads, foam pads, you name it, everything is easily accessible. I also store some excess chemicals in there. So if we move further, I also have uh, a lot of microfiber towels, right? This is made for car detailing. So this is just a small part of my collection, but basically different towels, uh, some microfiber mitts, uh, wash mitts up there as well. Let's open this one so you can see. So my girlfriend also jokingly often says, I can see her, uh, her laughing right now. Uh, do you think you have enough microfibers? Mm, there's gonna be more later on. So uh, definitely a cool thing to have. Uh, here is one of the 20 amp circuits that I was talking about. So for anything that needs a bit higher ampage or draw for power, uh, I have some 20 amp circuits. We move on to a car dryer. So blowing the car off is a lot quicker and more efficient, especially if it's protected with a wax, a sealant or a ceramic coating. The hydrophobic properties, so that water beating and the water sheeting, allow for a quick evacuation of the water when you're using forced air. So these blowers work amazing. This one here is the Big Boy Blower R Pro. Uh, so this is an Australian-based company, if memory serves me well. Nice flexible hose on its holder here. I have this rack for the hose itself. Uh, this one here is 10 meters or 30 feet of hose, so it does the uh, job quite well. My security system, of course. Uh, here, some more custom shelving units from Rousseau. So again, that same gray and blue color theme. I have a bunch of chemicals here. Uh, some pump sprayers from Marilex that I really, really like. So high grade, high quality, they spray forever. You can use them for a bunch of chemicals. So I have the regular pump sprayers. I have the foamer series as well. So for some foaming in here, I have some brake buster diluted three to one or 10 to one, depending on your dilution ratios uh, to clean wheels and tires. I have a bunch of sprayers here. So the uh, CarPro dilute bottles, which you guys have seen featured with, which have the dilution ratios already on the bottle. These uh, press all bottles distributed by Obsessed Garage for some high quality trigger action and they just look sleek and awesome. Uh, some IK sprayers. Down here I have my IK uh, Foam 9. So this is a big pump sprayer that can contain uh, a lot of volume, right? This is awesome. Uh, here, something pretty cool. This is a cordless blower. So it's a leaf blower. It's the Ego 650 CFM. So 650 uh, CFM of blowing capacity. Uh, but this one here is a portable unit. This is the one I use the most because it's battery operated and is cordless. And I added this unit here. So this is a stubby now because the one that comes with it, the tip is a lot longer because it's to blow leaves outside. But for car detailing, Apex Air distributed by Obsessed Garage made this tip here, which is absolutely awesome because it's a shorter version. So perfect for drying cars. And I have this blower band rubber tip extension that you can add on there. That way, if you accidentally touch the vehicle, you're not gonna scratch it because that's in rubber. On the side, I have my Gorilla Ladder. So this one here is in aluminum, portable, and you can unfold the legs. This is perfect for setting up when you're detailing taller SUVs and vehicles. So you can basically go on this and there you go. It has a nice handle, very lightweight, easy to carry. When you're done, you just push the yellow button here, fold it up. I have a review, by the way, on my channel uh, using this and a bunch of other tools as well for detailing bigger cars and SUVs. So go check that out. When you're done, you just fold it and you store it here. Again, more chemicals and extras and gallons and stuff like that that I have here on the side. Another cool addition to the garage is this Tornador Max tool, so the Z030. So this one here works with an air compressor. It has this swiveling fitting. And basically, it you can put your cleaning solution here for carpets, fabrics, floor mats, go see my review. Uh, it has an LED tactical light here for lighting up your interior when you're using it. And it's basically blowing that solution with this tip here that spins around. So basically, cleaning carpets, fabrics, all that kind of stuff 
floor mats. It's fantastic. You need a good air compressor for that. And we'll get to it in just a few seconds because I got a brand new air compressor. Now, here is basically my workbench. Uh, again, custom made from Russo. A bunch of cool stuff. Not only color coordinated with locking door handles if needed, but these are some of my detailing chemicals and some shelvings that pull up like this. So as you can see, I can have easy access to all the chemicals, including the ones in the back. So again, a few of my collection. So two levels of this. I think that is pretty, pretty sweet. And now if we move to the other cool feature that they made custom for Pan the Organizer, because they work with you basically to know what your needs are. So in this cabinet here, I have basically a rolling tray. And there you go, look at that. Again, custom built. We have a drawer here in the front that I can pull up. I have a few of the brushes in there. So basically a detailing cart that has been repurposed. You can see uh, here are some uh, brushes basically for the wheels and tires. It's on casters. It has these locking tabs if you want to lock it into place for it not to roll around when you're using it. So this is called their Multitech. And this is a cart that a lot of guys in uh, shops like to use in garages, but we repurpose this for detailing uses. And once I, I'm done, I simply lock the tabs, put it in there, and lo and behold, it disappears from your site and everything is nice and clean. So here now on the cabinets on the main workbench, we have more microfiber towels and you can roll these uh, cabinet doors in. So just again, a selection of different microfiber towels and uh, yeah, for different uses. We have some under cabinet mounted lighting here, LED strip that I can turn on or off. Here for power, we have a power strip, so power outlets and also USB for charging your USB items. Very, very practical. You can see the Pan the Organizer logo. So this was laser UV etched into the stainless steel. So this is not a sticker. This is actually etched into the stainless steel. So some custom touches that I really, really like. If we look at my drawers now, I try to organize my things neatly. So in here I have some air fresheners, things like uh, clay bars, a bit of tools, some uh, connections for the air compressor. Uh, here I had a bin done for my garbage and my recycling. So again, hidden from the eyesight. So it's all organized in here, first drawer. Even though I'm not really a handy guy for tools, I like to have a great selection of tools to uh, work with. Uh, of course, this is a garage made for car detailing. So in this drawer here, I have a bunch of stuff like clay towels, all the detailing brushes uh, to uh, do some work inside the vehicle, outside the vehicle for some leather, for wheels and tires, a pad brush, uh, some pen lights here that are LED from Rupes and ScanGrip. So you can inspect your paintwork while you're doing it. Pet hair brush, leather brush, uh, more microfiber towels, microfiber mitts, this uh, awesome Rupes claw tool to not only clean your pads, but to also remove the pad from your backing plate or also butter the pad with some uh, polisher, polishing or uh, compound fluid. Here I have more storage for foam applicators, sponges, more applicators here. I have my uh, next PTG. This is a paint depth gauge, uh, a bunch of extra stuff that I keep in here as well, some brushes. And here in the bottom, some uh, uh, air hose for the uh, air compressor, uh, some uh, electrical extensions, a bunch of other chemicals, some scam grip uh, equipment as well. The, uh, oh, sorry, I wanna show you this, the clean and reach tool. This is from Stoner to clean the inside part of your windshield, very, very practical to have. Now, let's move on to this shelving unit here. Uh, first of all, as you can tell, uh, again, more, more detailing chemicals. So anything from shampoos, chemical decontamination, clay lubricants, uh, uh, quick detailers for the interior, interior cleaners and protectants. Here I, has, I have stuff for the wheels and tires, some all-purpose cleaner, degreasers, uh, a bunch of spray-on paint protection, so drying aids, quick detailers, uh, silica spray sealants, graphene spray sealants, that kind of stuff. I have some tire dressings here. Uh, over here we have a bunch of recharge stations for the batteries. So for my Ego Blower, my Flex Tools, uh, my Makita cordless drill, my scan grip lights, so on and so forth. Here we have some uh, applicators and some brushes, more detailing chemicals. If we go to the lower portion now, 
Here you're gonna see my brand new air compressor. Uh, this is the rigid four and a half gallon, 200 PSI unit. So dual tanks, some quick disconnects for uh, dual power tools if you want some. User adjustable pressure with this knob. So you can, if you want it, let's say at 90 uh, PSI, you can set it and it's gonna give constantly 90 PSI of outlet. So uh, very, very good for car detailing. And this operates the Tornador tools perfectly well. Next, we have a popular uh, wet and dry vacuum, also known as a shop vac. This one here is a rigid uh, four gallon, five peak horsepower unit. So very powerful, works well, a staple in the car detailing industry. I got the optional deluxe car detailing kit, which comes with this upgraded flexible tool, uh, flexible hose. So this one here is a higher quality. Next to it, I have my McCulloch MC1385 uh, steamer, so steam cleaner. You basically put some distilled water. Sometimes I add a bit of um, uh, rinseless wash in there too to increase the cleaning power. And you got your cleaning tool, flexible hose. This is their top of the line unit uh, from McCulloch. Again, full review on my channel. I have some uh, shelving, of course, organization for a lot of the battery operated or cordless uh, lights. So these are bonnet or bonnet lights from Scangrip. So some LED lights. These I like to use for inspecting high spots for uh, when you're applying ceramic coatings and graphene coatings. I have some other lights here from Scambrick that you use. You have these Scangrip portable lights that you can change the color temperature also when you're using it. So see this one here turns to a warmer tone or you can set it to a cooler tone. So again, to inspect for defects, for swirls, scratches, I have a UV light here for the uh, Adams patented UV tracing technology in their coatings to look for high spots and things like that. The uh, detail guards, um, these ones here are the uh, hose guides. So you put them under your tires and basically it prevents hoses from getting stuck underneath the tires when you're detailing. I have some ear protection when I'm using my car dryers. That is super important, of course. Uh, a bunch of brushes that I have here on the side for detailing duties as well. Wheels, tires, inner barrels, uh, inside, outside, fender wells, that kind of stuff. So we have them all. Here on the wall now, you can see another vacuum that's attached to my home's uh, basically central vac. So uh, this is with the door here for attaching that vacuum. We can see my um, portable uh, dispenser for my nitrile gloves. I always wear uh, protection for my hands when I'm detailing vehicles. So I wear black nitrile gloves and this is where I get them from. So again, everything neatly organized. Here we have a sink uh, available, of course, with hot and cold water to fill in your buckets. Use hot water when you need it uh, for your foam cannons as well. I have a few of the uh, foam cannons here, by the way, on display. Uh, here I have a rack that I have a lot of my ceramic and graphene coating bottles and up top some more chemicals that are stored. Again, I like just everything cool and organized. Uh, here we brought the polyurea coating on the stairs as well to keep everything nice and tidy and to make it easy to uh, clean. Uh, here I have my Daikin controller. You're gonna see uh, the heat pump, by the way. I think I forgot to talk about that. So let's have a quick look while I think of this because the uh, garage, I have to use it all year round. So it is heated and cooled thanks to this Daikin 19 series wall mounted heat pump. So 12,000 BTU of output, uh, enough to cover 600 square feet. So perfect for the size of this garage and uh, very efficient unit. It can drop all the way down to temperatures of minus four degrees Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees Celsius. So it still works quite efficiently uh, during those times. And basically it helps to keep the garage warm or cool depending on where I am in the seasons. We have, well, first of all, the uh, digital thermostat if I have to use my baseboard heaters when it goes below minus 4 Fahrenheit or minus 20 degrees Celsius when they start working. Uh, here on the wall, I have my uh, Metrovac Master Bl Blaster Revolution, uh, dual four horsepower uh, peak motors, so eight total peak horsepower power. Uh, this is a car dryer, once again, heated, dried, uh, filtered air. So I have a few different options on the walls to dry vehicles. Uh, here, a new addition is my complete uh, collection of obsessed garage um, wash buckets. So they're basically the two bucket wash solution plus a third one for the wheels. So a dedicated bucket for your wash solution, the soapy solution in here, a dedicated rinse bucket so you can rinse your mitt in there. It comes on this dolly so you can roll it around, color coordinated uh, with these nice little tabs here in the front. They come with these gamma seal lids 
which have this rubber gasket. So you can twist that on there and you can move your buckets around if you're a mobile detailer, for example, and you fill them up. Inside each bucket, we have the grit guard. So basically the bucket filter that keeps the dirt and debris in the bottom of the bucket. So you don't have that coming back in to your clean solution. And on each bucket, we have this here. This is a buckenizer from the detailing outlaws. There's a lot of different versions available, but basically this is a bucket organizer. You can put your mitts, your brushes, your tools, uh, and bring them, lug them around with you when you're detailing. So this nice diamond plate connector for these buckets, very, very high quality, high end, just looks clean. And then you have a dedicated separate wheel bucket. Again, the same thing. You have the grit guard, the gamma seal lid, and the buccanizer. So all color coordinated. I really, really like that. Uh, by the way, now that I see them, a lot of people ask, what shoes do you wear uh, when you're detailing cars? I wear these Nike Pegasus Shield units that are waterproof. So these are my size 13 shoes. And yeah, they're just comfortable. They're lightweight and they are waterproof. So here, my water bib or water supply that goes into my Ely Hose Reels polyurethane garden hose and Ely Hose Reels very high quality uh, gun. So this is a swiveling unit. I put some quick connects. So if you just wanna use your garden hose, this is as good as it gets. This is cast aluminum, super heavy uh, duty. I had it in my previous home and brought it over. It's the last hose reel you'll ever need and super high quality thick hoses. Uh, then if we move to one of the stars in my garage, this is my Krenzla 1122 TST pressure washer. So German built, built like a tank, very high end unit, uh, max of 1400 PSI. I actually set it to 1000 PSI when washing cars, uh, but more importantly, it has 2.1 gallons per minute of water output, so high water flow. And I upgraded the gun and wand to the Mosmatic Obsessed Garage spec uh, Mosmatic gun and wand, so basically, on these quick connects. So you have the wand, you have your stubby gun that you connect your pressure washer to. And then this look, ugh, this is so satisfying, super high quality, Mosmatic, also quick connects. And I have a 40 degree tip when I'm washing cars, I can have my 20 degree tip for wheels if I need to switch that out. Talking about washing, it is important to have high quality water. So in my house, we already have a water softening system, which increases the quality of water. But in my garage, to make sure I have the best possible water, I have this CR Spotless DIC 20 unit, uh, DIC slash DIW 20. Uh, basically a unit here that is a water deionizer. So you have zero minerals left. You have this TDS monitor as well, total dissolved solids. So you can monitor to make sure that your resin that are that is in these two tanks works perfectly and you can switch them out easily. And so the water system goes in there and then it feeds my hose and I can connect the hose to my pressure washer and I get spot free uh, water basically. So when I'm done washing a car, I can technically, even if I'm washing outside, let the car dry on its own and you're gonna have zero water spots. So for you guys who are looking for easy solutions to have zero water spotting issues when you're washing cars, the CR Spotless is perfect for you. Next, we move on to more shelving that I've here from Russo, again, in this gray and blue uh, color coordinated package uh, where I have a bunch of tools like my cordless Makita drills that are in this here. I also have uh, some other filtering systems. So this one here is from the Detail Guards. It's their Dirt Lock bucket filter. So a grit guard basically for the bottom of the bucket. And it has this awesome pump system as well. So it pumps fluid or water when you have your uh, mitt and then you're cleaning it and pumping it to release all the dirt and debris. Uh, up top, I have my stereo setup. So a cr pretty crazy hi-fi setup or hi-fi audio. So basically Dyne Audio LYD8 uh, stereo pairs. So basically this is self-powered. It has an amplifier built in. It's connected to my streamer. This is the Blue Sound Node streamer. So streaming hi-fi music directly from your mobile uh, phone or mobile device to this, you get some nice music. In the bottom here, I have the matching Dyne Audio high-powered subwoofer. So with dual subs on each side, very high power. I have more buckets as you can see here, a bunch of other tools. Uh, all, all new constructions in Montreal uh, have this now, so it's mandatory. This is a 220 volt outlet. So if you have an electrical vehicle, uh, well, I'll be able to connect the power later on if I ever get an electric car on there and have quicker charging. Uh, another 20 amp outlet here in the corner. So by the way, these upper cabinets, I just have some extra stuff in there as well. And here, like I said before, this is my Rupes Nano Bigfoot Hybrid. So a small, uh, polisher for the more intricate areas. 
such as uh, door sills, door jams, uh, mirrors, all that kind of stuff. So uh, very, very practical to have. And again, just that's where I store my bags too for my polishers. So something that was custom made, my very own Viper chair. So this is the uh, robust steel max if memory serves me well so basically they're top of the line unit on these big rolling casters uh, this is so solidly built it has nice custom leather upholstery so if you look at my seat custom embroidery with this blue stitching and gray to keep the theme going and the pan the organizer logo on there I got the optional backrest, so this is perfect when you're detailing a vehicle. And uh, yeah, I mean, just this looks absolutely amazing. This is built in the USA, if memory serves me well again, and they're made in Wisconsin. So everything is made in store, in factory, uh, family operated business, and just something absolutely crazy. When you sit on it, it glides around the garage uh, effortlessly. And this is some high grade stuff like everything else in my garage. Uh, next, we have this Ryobi undercarriage cleaner. So it comes on these rubber wheels and basically you connect your pressure washer wand to this and it's going to spray some water out of these three outlets and you can clean the undercarriage of the vehicles you are working with. We have the System 4000 from Lake Country. So let me pull that out. This is basically a pump system so I can clean my uh, pads when I'm doing some paint correction with my machine polishers. So you have your cleaning fluid in there and this pump system up top, which pushes that cleaning fluid into your pad and you're spinning it around on this to release all the gunk, the dirt, and to work cleanly. I also have this knee pad from Auto Obsessed, basically to kneel down and you wanna have a padded area. And here I have another spotter or a carpet and upholstery cleaner. This is the Bissell Spot Clean Professional or Spot Clean Pro. So basically a carpet extractor. This one here is non-heated though, but it is portable. So that's one of the cool things. I did a comparison by the way with my bigger mighty unit. If you guys wanna check that out on my channel, but this is an inexpensive model that works well if you have, especially if you're a mobile detailer, for example. And uh, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Again, all the links to the tools, equipment, and all the products in the description under the video for you guys to check those out. Thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.